All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson that's concerning praying, um, anointing, and also having the church, all right, and in specific, the elders pray over you, okay? And um, this is inspired by, you know, a situation that I'm going through having some health issues. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'll say this through the spirit. Um, this uh, issue is getting uh, uh, healed, all right? It's getting healed through, first and foremost, um, me praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Then, you know, I've, uh, you know, asked, you know, the, uh, the elders, you know, in my camp, the bishops, the church, basically, to pray for me. And I've also been anointed, okay, a few times. And the Lord, you know, he, He's healing my ailment. And I'll say this, I've had this happen before, this uh, particular, um, you know, uh, illness. And the Lord gave me some, some uh, type of disease, like I said, I don't know what it is. And He, you know, He brought me down. Okay. And you know, he, he you know, he got me ill and he and he's healed me. Okay? And um, you know, I just wanted you know wanted to share that, you know, this is my testimony. And I'll say this every time you know, I pray, I you know, I fast. I ask the brothers to pray for me, I get anointed. You know, these these um these things go away, these these problems. Okay? You know, and you see, we, we got to follow the, you know, the playbook. OK, we got to apply the wisdom that the Lord, you know, ha has given us. You see, don't neglect these things. Like I was telling the brothers, we cannot neglect, you know, the tools that the Lord has given us. You know, I'll say this, you know, we're like Batman, so to speak. Right. You know, Batman, he, he had his um, his uh, that, that belt with all the tools in it. Right? You know, sometimes Batman used those, uh, those ninja stars. You know, sometimes he used his hook. All right? You know, he, you know, he had all these different gadgets, you know, you know uh, on his belt, you know, in his suit. All right? Maybe he used, you know, some x-ray vision. All right? Whatever it was, you know, he, you know, he used particular tools at certain times. And that's the same thing with us. There's particular things that we got to use at certain times. Okay, and you got to remember that. And hey, if you're sick, and you're going through, you know, these ailments. Like I said, pray first and foremost, you know, by yourself. Ask the brothers for prayers. Ask them, you know, to, to lift up them, you know, those prayers for you. And, you know, you got to anoint yourself. You know, have the, 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 the church anoint you. And in specific, try to have the elders of your church do it. Okay, have them lead it. Okay. If possible. All right. Well, let's get into a couple scriptures. All right. And we'll end it. You know, it should be a pretty short lesson here. And this is uh, the, uh, the book of James, chapter 5, verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over you or over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. See, hey, the, the prayers, the, the prayer, prayer of faith is going to save the sick. OK, you got to do these things. OK, let's keep uh, reading. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The. Uh, 
effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You see? They, these prayers that are sent up, they, they, they help. You see? They, these things actually, you know, can, can, can save a brother. You know, that's why it's very important, you know, to, to send your, your, your daily prayers. Okay? And I'll say this, you know, it's a cut to myself. Because there's times where I, I forget to do these things. And I got to get better at it. You know, and, and you know, it's flesh, you know, you, you, you forget because, you, you know, you're in the flesh. You start getting busy with this world because, you know, you, you may have a family, work. You know, you, you may oversleep one day. Now you're rushing to work, you know. Then even get to, you'll send up prayers. And then, you know, like I said, I, I'm cut because, you know, I, I have a bad habit of that. I'm always, you know, moving, always doing this, doing that. And I start forgetting, you know, to, to send up these prayers. You know? And I'll say this because the scriptures say a sending those uh, morning prayers are very important. All right? It's in the book of Psalms. You should try to do these things first thing in the morning. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is uh, Psalms 5 and 3. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. You see? Got to send up the morning prayers. Start your day off right. Like I said, you know, I'm cut. Because I got to, you know, get, get more, uh, in a better habit of doing these things. I got to start waking up a little bit earlier. You know, so I, I, I can, you know, start my day off right. You see? We got to get better at these things. You know? But let me, uh, let me get a couple more scriptures here. I'm just going to just get a few. Like I said, this is a, a quick, quick lesson. You know, just through the Spirit. You know, um, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, share this. Because like I said, you know, it's a quick little testimony. You know, like I said, I've had this, you know, happen uh past few years. Really, it's been going on for about four years. It's around like October, November, my body's been shutting down for whatever reason. And, uh. The first year that it happened, it was really, really bad. That was actually the, the, the worst. And the Lord healed me. Then the next two years, it wasn't as bad. But I had, you know, a little something and it went away pretty quick. But this year, kind of came back, you know, with a vengeance, this, uh, this little illness. And um, it wasn't as bad as the first year I got it. But, you know, it, it's been affecting me. But um, I've been... Uh, I've been slowly getting better. My weight is starting to, you know, uh, come back. You know, certain issues, you know, in, in my gut are, you know, getting better. It's not perfect, but it's getting better. I'm starting to see, you know, you know, good signs again. You know, my, my stomach isn't hurting as much. Little things like that. And I, and I know it's because I've been praying, asking brothers for prayers, getting anointed, you know, having faith. You see? Also, you know, using herbs because those you know, certain herbs, you know, it heals you. You know, those are medicines from the earth. Okay, got to you know uh, apply these things. You know, fasting too helps a lot. Highly recommend it. All right. So you know, it's like I said, I just wanted to give a little quick testimony. Hey, the Lord, hey, He heals, man. You gotta believe. Even if it takes a little bit of time, just believe. And, and apply a, you know, this wisdom. Use the right tools, man. Okay? But let me keep reading. This is Psalms 30 and 2 now. And it reads here, O Lord, Yahweh, my power. I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. So you got to cry unto the Lord. All right? Got to cry unto the Lord. Get this scripture. Because um, it says here in 30, in Psalms, uh, Salaki, Sirach 35, Start at 16. Psalms 35 and 16, it says here, He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayers shall reach unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble pierceth, pierceth the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Main point is how our prayers 
Hey, they pierce the, the clouds. They, they go to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You got to believe that. Just keep crying unto, unto the Lord. And, he, and he'll uh, answer your prayers. You just got to be patient though. Okay? And you got to have faith that the Lord is going to heal and is going to take care of you. Okay? All right, let me get, uh, I think, maybe one more scripture. I think we should be good. Like I said, I uh, just wanted to do a quick one. You know, hopefully this, uh, you know, boost, you know, a, a brother or maybe a sister spirit who's ever listening. Okay? There was another one. I know it was in, um, oh, where was it? Wisdom of Solomon. There, that's what it was. Yep, let me get this one, and then we'll probably end it off with this. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, let me get, let me just get these last two. This is Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. And ultimately, it is the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai that heals you. Okay? You believing in, in Yahweh Hashem Shai, believing in his word. You know, you, you applying, you know, what's written, which is you actually believing what, you know, the, you know, Yahweh Hashem Shai, you having faith. You see? All right. Let me get um, one more scripture. This is uh, Sirach 28 and um, or Sirach 38. And just straight to the point, verse uh, 2. For of the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. Main point is the first part. For of the Most High cometh healing. Okay? So you just got to believe that the Lord is going to heal you. You know? Hey, the, you got to remember, hey, the Lord's the one that got you in that situation. You don't think he could take you, you know, out of it? Okay? Hey, you know, got to have that faith that the Lord can, can, can do all these things. Okay? It's an easy thing for the Lord to do anything. The snap of a finger, the Lord can switch your situation around. Okay? See, but the Lord, he, he puts us through, you know, particular predicaments, all right, particular situations to, one, humble us, two, to, to, to you know, to you know, keep us on our toes, so to speak, and the three, you know, to cleave unto him, all right, to not be attached to this world, all right, you see? So just keep, like I said, you know, doing the things that the Lord told you, all right, to do in, in and I'm telling you, man, the Lord is going to take care. He's going to take care of you and you'll be fine. All right? Oh, and just a little side note. wanted, you know, to uh, add this in here. You know, because we were talking about the anointing and the prayers. Hey, you got to believe, I'll say this. You got to believe that you brothers, you got to believe that, that you're, a, a, you're a priest. Hey, the men around, the, uh, that are all around you are priests. You know? We got powers, man. You know, I'll say this. You know, I, I believe the men around me have spiritual powers. Okay? That through their prayers and, and through, you know, their, the, the laying of the hands, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get healed. Okay? All right? You know, like I said, this is a quick testimony. Hey, you know, uh, you know I, I've been anointed many times. By uh, the, the elder Uri Uriah out here. And, and like I said, man, you know, I, I feel like I've been, I've been healed through, you know. It's all because of Yahweh Bashim al Shah first and foremost. But I'll say this, I, I believe the Lord, you know, is using, you know, of course, all the men around me. But, you know, I, I, I really feel that the, that, that the elder Uriah ha has a special, you know, a, a gift. Okay. Or, you know, or touch, whatever whatever you want to say, all right? I believe the Lord gave him a, 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 a serious, you know, a, you know a, a gift, all right? You know, has given him spiritual powers, okay? That, that's just my personal belief and, you know, like I said, my testimony because the elder has anointed me many times and, and through, you know, 
you know, that, that procedure, you know, of, of, you know, prayers and being anointed and, you know, faith and, you know, being patient, I've, I've been healed. All right? And your brother's got to believe that too, man. Okay? Like I said, who's ever around you, you got to believe that these men are, uh, uh, you know, the men of the Lord, the priest, and, and that they, they got healing powers. Okay? But, that, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I want to end this lesson. You know, I hope whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.